and we just made necrophilia jokes. <laughs> we can't talk about that. Either. Oh, sorry, sorry. We forgot. No, all right, so yeah. um, got to come back strong. Man. Now well, we're gonna tell them. Now hey, we're gonna tell hey, them. Hey, hey, back. Hey. Hey. welcome back, Hi. shithead. We're glad to have you here. We missed you so much. Yeah, yeah, it's it, good to be clearly back. Clearly our conversations got really fucked while you were gone. So. Yeah, I'm, re- I'm really happy that we didn't start this conversation like 40 seconds ago because they would have seen a dark side of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, god damn it. What? Oh, I was just going to fucking... Oh, I wasn't. Anyways. It's okay. Go, sorry, go on. So okay. from last week's episode, we had talked about um, like jumping... Off a bridge? Off, no, it's from <laughs> high heights. Like oh, how yeah. sometimes I get like... This really feel this real quick feeling of like I want to jump. Yeah, yeah. somebody was that listened to the podcast, who's a psych major, mm-hmm. like explained to me why people get that feeling. Like that's a very common trait. Hmm. So I'm gonna do this no justice because I just accidentally deleted the message. Um, but basically, when you get into that moment, your frontal cortex kicks off for like a quick second. So like your judgment, like goes away for a second and your super ego takes over and it tells you you can do it and you can live but then your frontal cortex (laughs) like before you actually do it your frontal cortex kicks back on and goes no Mm. don't you're not gonna live like you're gonna (laughs) fucking die if you do that so yeah that's what I like to call the do it factor (laughs) so shout out to Mandy for that explanation that was fucking awesome thank you for that it was just so funny like just sent me a message like, hey, remember in episode 34 when you said this? Mm-hmm. This is why you think that. <laughs> I was like, cool. So I'm not depressed. Like, you know, yeah. I had to say that several times. I'm you not depressed. Monster I should just get ego. That <laughs> which, which Mandy are we talking about? Never going to oh, die. Oh, Mandy? No, not, not okay, the one we work gotcha. with. It's an old friend from high school. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, but it was I knew just Mandy. so funny. <laughs> I knew Mandy. <laughs> uh, but I just thought that was super funny. So I just want yeah, to get that that's out. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, Drake. Good to be back, man. Yeah, we're here. It's fine. Drake. Oh, D-Rake? God. D-Rake? Oh, God. D-Dog? Hey, yo. <laughs> no. What, what, hey, did you say don't. T-Dog? Because oh, we're not going to talk about that guy from The Walking Dead. T-Dog? Oh, yeah, he's trash. He went out like I a bitch. You, I no, he was, a, he was awesome, but he died like a bitch. Didn't I thought you met a buddy of ours. Again, I don't watch that show, so. Well, oh, I mean, yeah, uh, T-Dog. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just slurp into the mic? <laughs> You're a disgusting human being, and I feel so bad for everyone listening oh. right now. Oh, I miss you guys. Also, hey, so on another note, dogs burp. Dog, yeah. they, dog, definitely, they do burp. They definitely okay. burp. I don't know why that was so. Like I, I never have heard that thing before. Dude, so when I was when I was I mean, listening I to the know. episode, I was laughing because I was <laughs> like, "You're f- dumb. You're losing it. You're losing <laughs> your mind." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Listen, yes, they can burp. Here's the thing. At least I didn't go into that conversation acting like I knew what the fuck I was talking. No, about. No, for sure. I for went sure. in. It was knowing, a genuine. Yeah. I went in knowing I was going to sound like oh a fucking God. idiot when <laughs> I said what I said. Okay? I think to be fair, we all go into all these podcasts. To be fair, like we're to be fair. fucking idiots. To be fair. Mm-hmm. Oh God! If any, Dude. so. I was for, I, at the, uh, the bar. I, I was, was fucking dying because so, I heard you say yeah. it. I was like, "Oh god!" For oh, those god. of you out there, for those of you out there uh, who watch Letter Kenny, you'll get mm. it. But basically, in the show Letter Kenny, anytime someone says "to be fair," everyone else has to go "to, to be, be fair. fair," and it's just like this running joke in the show. So the other night, the three of us were at a bar, and we we're just hanging out talking. And I heard somebody's conversation behind me, and they said "to be fair," and without thinking. <laughs> I did it, like mid conversation. I go to be fair. To be fair. I didn't catch it at first, but then after, like after you said something about it, I was like, oh shit. Um, behind. It was just like it just was a habit. I had to do it, dude. I that's that's to. fine. Dude. It's so good. It's like that thing from uh, How I Met Your Mother. When it, whenever somebody says like a military rank, like uh, generally something, mm-hmm. they'd be like, oh, general something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or general something. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah. anyways, we're back in yeah. full force. Yeah. And I'll movie. tell you right now, I totally forgot what the fuck my skill was from two weeks ago. Oh, it's, oh, it's fine. cool because we, we didn't, didn't do either. ones last oh, you week. Didn't? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah. we didn't plan any skills for this week. Yeah. And we're actually probably, I don't know if we're going to be able to It's what I like to new. call pussying out. Yeah. <laughs> pussying out. <laughs> I might have to, I, I mean, you guys could probably do skills. I might mm-hmm. have to pussy out this week. Yeah. And maybe next week because... Ooh. You boy will be out of town mm-hmm. this coming mm-hmm. week. I'll be yeah. in Arizona, so I may have to pussy out yeah. of challenges. You guys will notice a change. Don't worry. We're not going to yeah. be. Nope. There will be an hanging. episode next week still, so don't you mm, worry yeah. about it. And I will sure. be on it. It'll be all three of us still. I'm going to I'm gonna teleport myself here 
and I'll be on the show. Hell yeah. Next beat week. me up, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> you say beat me up, Scotty? Yeah, beat me up. <laughs> he just beams you up, starts beating the shit out of you. Teleports himself down, beats <laughs> yeah. the fuck out of you. Teleports, Teleports back, back up. up. Oh. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Uh, <sighs> I don't have enough money for that. I have 59 cents. You know what that means? I get my chicken nuggets. I can't afford hey. chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> this whole episode is just gonna be just just references just that nobody references else gets. That yeah. No one else will understand. <laughs> but for the people that do understand, Only the truest, kudos to of you. The true me more. It's also, before we start on anything else, the fitness challenge is still up, and mm. we have more people that are getting into it now. Oh so yeah, this is gonna be an expensive challenge for me if people keep this. Actually, shit I, start, up. I started getting into that myself. So well, you're gonna I'm owe not, me a shirt. I'm not buying hey. new shit. You're a we're a host. You buy your own shirt. I don't even have a shirt yet. Fuck <laughs> you. Get you're the only host on here without a shirt. Get your own. <laughs> I'm I mean, broke. Duke, Duke doesn't have one. Katie doesn't have one. That's fair. Yeah. There's three of you that I'm don't the only have one in here that does not have a shirt though. He's not wearing one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, the fitness challenge. Uh, so basically all you have to do is create your fitness goal for the rest of the year, and then you have to update me weekly on what your goal is and what you've done to work towards that goal, um, whether it's your workout or your meal plan, all mm -hmm. that fun stuff. It's just a weekly update, and then if you do it all the way up until our first episode in January, mm -hmm. then you get a special gift. Yeah. yeah. It's a high five. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to drive to your house and high five you. <laughs> in the middle of the night. What are you doing in my but house? How did you get in my house? <laughs> and you just. You're just driving like. You're, you're driving down like a dark. You just picked that up. <laughs> you're driving down like a dark. <laughs> In the, Congratulations. in the middle of the night, you're driving down a dark dirt road, and all you see is a dark figure. And it's Jake. It's Jake. You walk up to him. The end. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jake in a fucking trench coat just standing out in the middle of the road. How did you know wow, I would be wow, here? Wow. <laughs> oh. Love it. How did how did you get here? I, don't ask questions. Do you want the high five or not? <laughs> you want the fucking high five or not? <laughs> just pull up the trench pull up in the trench coat. <laughs> Your arm is back around this way. <laughs> Even though you only barely touch hands, it makes like a loud clap that echoes across the forest. Birds are flying no, out. No, it doesn't. Even, it doesn't even make a noise. There's just like a shockwave effect <laughs> that casts out. Oh, like, so there the was, person like feels like, wind hit against them. You, you hear like a deep fuck? bass in the ocean, like like in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there was, uh, there was like this ongoing, speaking of ongoing jokes and stuff, and kind of tying into like a shockwave thing. So my sister and I had this ongoing joke called One Punch, and it kind of obviously was based off of One like punch. The, yeah. <laughs> But the idea of it was it's like a totally hypothetical situation. Mm. If you had one punch that was like unlimited power, mm -hmm. like unlimited amount of power, how would you use that one? It has to be a punch, though. You have to be punching something. What would you use it on? Hmm. Like, and I'm talking like you hit a person with it, and it's like punching the gut, their whole back just <laughs> blows out. Unlimited like, power? It's literally like one punch of just pure energy, just boom, and it's a shockwave. It just oh. blows and destroys whatever you I'm just going to let people know that, hey, I've got this one punch, and if you motherfuckers don't start acting right, I'm hitting the ground and blowing of us all out of this goddamn universe. <laughs> How about that, shitheads? How about that? <laughs> I'm your world leader now, motherfuckers. Let's I, go. I would just punch Florida into space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, bro. Just hit the end. <laughs> just, just sitting there with friends, like drinking one time. Like, man, you guys ever thought about like how you wish there was like a cheaper United States island that we could all go to besides fucking Hawaii? Right. Like, Walker's just sitting there, like, hold my beer. Hold on. Yeah. I'll be back. We got one. <laughs> so, I, I was oh thinking God. about. It. I'd probably like if there was like a world conference of, like the UN. I would go to the UN and like. Punch Just someone, real terrorist. Well, no, like no, well, no, not like terroristy, but like I would become oh, yeah. like the king of the world because they don't know that it's only one punch. Know. And like, I would just so you punch use the it. one person mm. that I didn't like the most. <laughs> Pink mist, and then <laughs> take the mic. <laughs> um, I own all of you. <laughs> I am now your god. <laughs> so you have to go in the on Wednesdays. We wear pink. <laughs> <laughs> just walk out. <laughs> The Taco new. Tuesdays is a must for all the lambs. <laughs> Remember this day, this day of infamy. <laughs> Do not make me come back. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh walk out. It was like I don't even know I mean, <laughs> what yeah. is not gonna happen. Was that a magician? How are, like, would they? Would they? Because there'd be that one guy. There'd be that one guy. You know what you should do? You should that get try and 
you should get, it. You should get more uh, like Nordic tattoos on you, so that yeah. way you can come down and say that you're like a like a Norse god. Oh my and just, god, just, dude! Punch the shit out of somebody and be like, "Yeah, I I'm your down god now." Here's the thing. Down <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing. Though. I'll just start getting all. Boulder. I should start getting all Boulder's tattoos. Oh, that's oh, cool. got a lot. Awesome. Here's the thing, though. Um, Boulder died in a really pussy way, so. Well, yeah. You know, I'm just saying that, but anyways, even um, still, be more. You do know that, like, if you did that at the UN, like immediately somebody's gonna shoot you. Oh yeah, and they're gonna know. Oh, he can die because he's dead yeah, because just because you have a punch super really punch. hard he doesn't have a head anymore so <laughs> like, he's dead ah oh, bullets my one weakness <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. ah, ah, that was ah. a silver bullet no it was a normal one well there was silver in there because yeah. it fucking hurt they must have used silver in the oh, mold before God. Uh, <laughs> oh these are special anti-endorsed uh, bullets lead. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking shot me asshole <laughs> Yeah, if I just misted someone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm calling it from now on. <laughs> Who would you miss? Oh, just shit. Pink mist gone. Dude. <laughs> Actually, that yeah, that's the like whatever you do for anybody that's listening. Unless you want to see some really fucked up shit, don't ever look up pink mist because it's gnarly and in the same category as what see, we just talked well, about. Now I'm just curious. Like, don't it's, look it's, it up. It's it's a term to describe like basically uh, arterial spray. Yeah, okay. but in mass dumps so it's basically like it's like watching of, evil dead yeah like in oh, real life cool love yeah. that like I, real uh, life thing. i'm yeah. good on that and it's uh <laughs> yeah you guys want basically. to talk about the most fucked up things we've ever seen and smelled i'm just kidding <laughs> not again <laughs> not doing that on this episode not again. no nope. i just um, stopped nope. being emotional yeah. so you know we're gonna no, that, gonna only, that, that doesn't that. happen on the podcast i do want to make a point about uh, going back to the whole punching Florida off the map type yeah. thing. <laughs> Fuck Florida. <laughs> but no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about California right now. That represents it, but why, that's yeah. fine. Why doesn't California just like promote the San Andreas fault at that point? Just just purposefully separate themselves from the United States? Oh, just like because have a crew of people just like working. Yeah, on then it, they have like, literally setting off explosives. Then they have thousands of miles of <laughs> beachfront property. Yeah. That is yeah. pretty true. Just Real estate prices skyrocket. We got to fucking tax deal with issues that. Issues are saved. You're good to go. I don't think they'll ever save their tax issues. No, absolutely. There's not. only one way that California's tax issues get saved: World War Three, and that's because we're no. Because all taxes are eradicated at that point. We're no longer yeah. here. We're at that a point. war nation. So <laughs> we're a nation of war. That's how we war. make our money. So. Oh god. <laughs> wow. This uh, this went off the rails so quick, and I am I'm not even upset about it because no, man, great. I'm gonna have so many sound clips from this episode. Sweet. I, I love it. Can't wait. It's good shit, man. If you good noticed, shit. I sound clipped last episode. Mm-hmm. I think it went over pretty yeah, well. It's pretty yeah, solid, I'm man. Saying. I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah. We should have been doing that all along because now, yeah. now, well, now, just, just now I can't go content. back 34 episodes to yeah. do all that shit. That's I'll too just, much. I'll just dedicate a weekend to watching all of our episodes. And just, Ooh, pull, and just, just to writing pulling, down time. Yeah. Just, just leave timestamps like, time for stamps, the yeah. episodes that you think are for me. Okay, do it. I can do that. I got to save money anyways. <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? I'm listening literally, to my voice yeah. and trying I'm to find literally for parts. hours. I'm doing the equivalent of watching Wait. the first five seasons of Game of you, Thrones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say, that's going to be what, 30, what episode is this? This is 35, I think. 35, so 35, 35, 35 hours. 35 hours of straight content. Oh. And here's the craziest part. It still took me longer to complete Death Stranding than that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Going back to Death Stranding. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to Death Stranding. Oh, God, I don't want to bring We're not spending up. another episode of this. No. No, oh, god man. damn it. Oh, so good. <laughs> I love it. Quality shit, man. So what else Quality. you guys have been up to? Mm, I have a job interview next week for Hell. a pretty big company. Good I don't shit. know if I can share that on yeah. here. Nah, nah, you it's, gotta... it's a big company that we all utilize. It daily, rhymes so. with... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't rhyme it with anything because... Well, they don't watch my podcast. Right. Fine, but it no, rhymes but with... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shoogle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep so uh and if you don't get it now you're a fucking idiot and you'll never get it so, <laughs> <laughs> so i'm pretty proud of myself for getting that because yeah. even if i don't get it it's like oh i at least got an interview which is yeah, kind of huge still, so you still yeah, yeah, so we'll be on the front now. page you know after mm, he gets the job not if, not a chance. if i get the job I'm, apparently i'm in the top three for this position so hey, yo, top that's, three there's good two, two so others above you though that's fun yeah so we'll see what's up any new companies you've created or helped create uh not this week but i i do have a meeting this week with a couple other places Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Walker's always on the fucking hunt. Oh yeah. New- hey, I do I do that for a living, you know. I you know, can I can I self plug for a second? Do it. So, fucking do it. I don't yeah, care. It's so, good for your health. Got to milk the <laughs> prostate. Got to so, self plug. Uh, what what I kind of do for a living at the moment is I'm, I'm consulting with people that are starting up new businesses and such. So I will help them out and in return I don't ask for any cash or anything. I just ask for equity in the business so that way uh, once you grow, then that's how I grow as well. It's like so a mini shark tank. Yeah, Dude. basically. So like I 
I, I basically provide like all your resources, all your uh, connections, all your management, that kind of stuff. And then all in return. All I ask for in return is a percentage of equity in your business. So, so any of you out yeah. there that are looking to start up a small business, yeah, talk to this man. I currently have three people in my port or three companies in my portfolio, and all of which have gotten sales in the past week. And I've only started this project what like three weeks ago. Yeah. So yeah, things are going That's good. An so yeah, things are going really well. Killing it. Yeah, man. Any of those companies that you want to plug? Feel free. Yeah, now's actually, the time. I, we're plugging right yeah. now. We're plugging. Yeah. So first of all, I want to I want to plug my buddy Jay, who's over here. Hell yeah. Uh, he's the CEO of Lux Transportation. It's a luxury SUV transportation service. Uh, so they do airport rides, funerals, weddings, all that mm-hmm. kind of fun stuff. So, so if you ever see us rolling up to an event in oh, a yeah. nice Escalade, mind your fucking business. How about that? <laughs> mind your business. Yeah, Keep so your eyes go, down. We paid for it. Okay. So go check Don't out, look me in the eyes. Go check out uh, <laughs> transportationbylux.com. Uh, then you can go ahead and book a ride with them. I also want to book Wisconsin Corporate Cleaning, who's uh, my buddy Jeff Hall, who just uh, set up a new business. Uh, he uh, literally is just doing corporate buildings like these that we're that we're servicing right now, and then uh, oh, yeah. he'll go in and do your office spaces whenever you're not there. So uh, it's all secure, it's all licensed and insured, so you can go in any office space or a restaurant oh, or good whatever. Good shit, nice. so, it's kicking yeah. ass. Yeah, really Two proud of these ideas. guys. Great ideas. Yeah, I like so, them both. Love yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah, I've man. met Jay a couple times. Jay's a great guy. Like. I haven't met the other one, but Jay. Oh, yeah. You'd like Jay's, mm-hmm. a, Jay's a real cool yeah. guy. I like him a lot, so definitely go show him some love. Definitely. So, yeah. Hands. Yeah, definitely. And you can roll up in style wherever. Who right. doesn't want to like go to like, I don't know, and like I was, a fucking bar on a Friday night, rolling up in like a real nice SUV? And the thing Fuck is. Fuck out of here. Everyone dude. is going to be like, I'll buy, can I buy him a drink? Well, and get you know, the, where are you from? And, and like, get what this are you too. doing? So, like, we, uh, we, we, we provide the service to yeah. people that want to go to like the airport down in yeah. Chicago. So, it would cost you. More money to get a an Uber or a Lyft down to uh, down to Chicago than it would to take a luxury SUV, dude. And you have so, more room. Yeah, you don't have to deal with a weirdo. Yep, you have Wi-Fi in the vehicle, or we're getting that soon. So. Wi-Fi in the vehicle, folks. Yep. So that's game changing. Quality. Yeah. You know, Quality <laughs> service. I'm just saying. But like, yeah, man. So it's guys, all coming together. Have you guys ever want? I I want to do that one day where we just we get dressed up, we buy a ride mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. transport. And we just roll up to like a couple different bars. Oh yeah, and just don't just say act shit. like big wigs. Yeah, can don't we all be dressed shit. in suits? Yep. Yeah, oh, and yeah. we just roll up, and then I. But we should go to places where people don't know who we. We have to go places where people don't know who we are, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then we just create false backstories. Why the fuck are you wearing that? We create. <laughs> just come from a funeral. <laughs> Like we just create false stories about ourselves. Like mm-hmm. I would so. Oh God, I would love it. That'd just Dude. be such a fun night. Hi, I'm Brendan Cook. I'm the I'm the son of Tim Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a Samsung phone? <laughs> I'm jo- hi. I'm John Hammer. I'm I'm friends with Army Hammer. Don't you mean related? No friends. No, we're, we're just, just friends. friends. No. <laughs> we're just friends. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I go around telling people I'm friends with Army Hammer, <laughs> right, and yeah. that seems to get me pretty far. So good. I'm Hi, sponsored. I, I don't know how that happened. But. <laughs> Hi, I'm d- we're dude and bro for <laughs> Bro, <laughs> we're friends with Guy. Oh God, sons, the sons of Guy. Uh, sons of Guy. Sons of Guy. <laughs> we have to get frosted tips temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> Temporary uh, frosted tips. <laughs> oh God, yeah, oh, we we shit. need to do that. That sounds like a fun fun time to me, dude. You're fucking take, badass. Take man. a girl home from the bar like that and be like. Ready to go to Flavor Town? <laughs> I'm gonna take you to Flavor Town. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing: is is we 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 take a girl. You take a girl. Get home. ready for the counter, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna mayo. I'm gonna oh mayo. My oh my god, no. <laughs> oh shit. Oh uh, no, no. The best part though is you talk yourself up like you're this huge mm. big wig or mm-hmm. whatever, and then you finally take a girl home, and <laughs> she goes. You did why you live here? Oh yeah, I'm real frugal. I'm real <laughs> frugal. Hey, honestly though, I know actual millionaires that live within like a ten block radius exactly. from here. That, Dude, exactly. fuck that yeah. They are worth literally hundreds of millions of dollars, and they live and in they like live, a, like a fourteen hundred yeah. square foot. And that's house. the way to do so, it. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'd rather live. I would rather live in a uh, less expensive house mm-hmm. and just fucking travel more. Dude. Yep. I, would honestly, honestly, I, I will. I will be honest. I would have a little bit nicer car, like a pretty nice. Little yeah, car. Dude, I yeah. would have a it's decent a vehicle. 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 I don't need like the fanciest car. No, not the fanciest. I would get me a nice little cyber truck. Oh fuck cyber yeah, dude! Truck. Hey Tesla, if you wanna if you wanna support Sponsor. our show, yeah. feel free to drop please. the cyber truck off. Well, yeah, at my house, please. My house. Well, okay. Well, my, if, my you wanna just, if you just want to, <laughs> you just want to roll three through. That's fine too. I, it yeah. can't cost you that much, Elon. Come on now. Mm. That's who I'll be. I'll be Elon Tusk. Oh, that's gonna be Ellen amazing. Tusk. Ellen Tusk. <laughs> Elon Tusk. <laughs> e hyphen Lon. 
Lonnie. I'll be Lonnie. You'll, you'll, Lonnie, you'll, you'll, Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie Tusk. Lonnie Tusk. You'll, be, you'll be his daughter, Elaine Tusk. <laughs> Elaine oh, Tusk. God. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What are we doing? Again, off about? the rails just so quickly on this show. Yeah. yeah. This is why I love it. This is going to be a good episode, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We'll maybe. see. I don't know. 20 yeah, minutes only, deep, yeah, and we've already. Minutes. Just fucked around. We've well, it's weird because we don't really have skills this week. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can come up with skills really quick for yeah. us to do for this upcoming week. But yeah. no, you're gonna be gone, right? I'll be gone. Ah, but, but you guys can come up with skills because you guys are. Just gonna, uh, we can. Uh, we can. We could. We could do like a. How plug. about this? How about we do? Let me do. We could do a two week skill. Ooh, like a big That's skill. True. A big yeah. skill. Like we could beat. We could big skill it. Ooh, a big, a big skillet. <laughs> as long as it's Albanian. Do you guys remember that rock, the, the Christian rock band skillet? Skillet, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. I remember, the drummer yeah. was so hot yeah. from that oh band. Oh, my God. Yes. And then she would sing sometimes. I was like, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. She's got uh, a voice and she can, she can play percussion. <laughs> it's like whenever I heard like synthetic strings on a, on a, on a rock song, it's like, oh, this is skillet. This is oh, skillet, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Christian rock, dude. See, I couldn't stand them. I couldn't stand It's so. Christian rock. They're I'm okay. Sure they weren't my favorite, but they were, even, they were decent. Yeah, so. even even before... Comatose? Did you ever hear a song Comatose? Yeah, but I That's where know. What's Her Name <laughs> sings. Oh, yeah. so good. See, it's just so good. But even even with like the Christian Christian rock or whatever, like yeah. I listen the fuck out of Flyleaf. Oh, yeah. I used to love Flyleaf. Yeah, but like I, I just I, don't like skillet sound that's just to me to me personally Guys, I'm be honest, I, I, I had a huge i was today years old when i just found out that flyleaf was a christian dude all band. around oh, me yeah. are you kidding me mm-hmm. yeah dude yeah yeah man that's that's about god have you ever yeah have you ever <laughs> <laughs> dude, watch watch some of the interviews man. yeah at first i thought it was super like romantic and then it's like oh wait oh, yeah, this is he's talking about yeah, jesus, yeah. Oh, oh, jesus. Shit. i mean i guess and you can be sexually creepy. attracted to jesus he kind of he kind of looks like this guy Jesus looked like that. Oh yeah, with the, with the long hair and the beard. Jesus yeah. was a lot darker than that. Yeah, you don't know that. Jesus was from. <laughs> Do you have a Jerusalem. picture of Jesus? Listen, yeah, he was from. He Jerusalem, couldn't be the so only couldn't... white man in Jerusalem. No, that's I'm not sorry. how I literally works. know people from Jerusalem that are that now, are than you. Not now, back so. then. Yeah. That he was. He had a darker. <laughs> he had a darker complexion yeah. than what is given in the Bible's yeah. depiction. That's okay. all I'm saying. Much darker. Mm-hmm. So I want to. I want to assume that. Uh, I don't, know. I don't even know what I was going to say. Never mind. Ignore, or, ignore me. I'm so proud of you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was going to say something bad. So, I know yeah. you were. And that's why you stopped. I know. I know where you were going with it, and that's why you stopped. And I'm so. Oh, I love it. Because I was like, is he really going to say this on air? Nope. He's going to say no, it on I'm air. Not. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> it took him a second to think. Hmm. No, nope, that should not get said. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Self censored. Self censorship is the best kind of censorship. Yeah, because <laughs> otherwise, is it? This episode was almost going to have to be a private episode that only went out to our Patreon members. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. become a patron today at Patreon.com/slash WWLTW Podcast. Air horn sounds. Burr, 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 burr. We have multiple level tiers. We have a one dollar tier all the way up to a twenty dollar tier, and you get uh, different rewards, different prizes with every tier. So. Yeah. Hmm. And also, shout out to our current Patreon members, Woo-hoo. Carmen. Mm. Who there else? Huh? Who else? Let me see where here. I know the other ones I where, wanted to where see. Where in the world is Carmen? San Diego. San Diego. Come on, Drake. She's not in Come San Diego. Come on, Drake. Uh-huh. You should know our Patreons. I was testing you. Don't fucking corner me on this. <laughs> you have to disconnect it. You put me on the we've got, we've got <laughs> Mr. Go Cundy. Okay. We have... Come on. There's only like... Nicole. Okay. We have... Carmen, mm-hmm. we have. Come on! I know there was one more. Come on! I know there was Come one on. more. Come on! It's the big one. I know. It's the big one. I know. Come the on! The big one. Sean. Yeah, fucking. Sh- okay. I know. Oh, I know. Fuck. I know. Your facial expression just reminded me of that video with like the, the with like the toy skeleton. Have you guys seen that? Like, what is a skeleton's favorite snack? Oh, and it's yeah. like ribs, <laughs> <Swims! laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, yeah, shout out yeah. to our current Patreon members. Yeah. You guys are wonderful people. We love you. Yeah, yeah we do love you guys. Thank you. You've much us. appreciated. You've afforded so much things. And Dude. to everyone that's bought merchandise, thank Dude. you as well. We've got a couple sweatshirts out and about. We've got a couple yeah. t-shirts out awesome. there. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait 
to see that on somebody. Yeah. Hey, like, honestly, I think I might cry. What, honestly, what I think I week? might be like, oh my God. Thank you. Like, I just go up and give them a big Yeah, I wouldn't even say hug. anything. Wouldn't, wouldn't even say a fucking word. In a word. trench coat. In a, yeah, in a trench coat. Yep. In a dark Completely alley. Completely naked. <laughs> in a dark alley. And just honestly, guys, there. hey, Christmas, <laughs> you. Christmas season is coming up, you know, so, a couple, yep. couple couple weeks here. So uh, be, be sure to go out and get a uh, get one of our sweatshirts Christmas or a hat. We have coffee mugs as well that you can You could even put, look at those are hot cocoa approved, so you could put hot cocoa in there if you don't drink coffee, or you could put tea in there. And I'm pretty sure they said that they're microwavable safe. They are. Hey. They're totally microwavable safe. And you could Hopefully. put them in a dishwasher. You could <gasps> also better. break the cup apart and, and break into somebody's window because porcelain cracks windows uh, really? very silently. Yeah. What? You didn't hear, you don't know about that? I did not know that. Yeah, it's, so called, it's, it's called snapping. So yeah. you take a little tiny piece of porcelain. You usually get it with like spark go, plugs. They'll go, break oh. porcelain on it. You just snap it at, at the window. It'll shatter and it an entire. Shatter, it yeah. shatters the whole. It spider webs the window, but yeah. it only leaves what? a hole that big. Yeah. Yeah. So then you can just. Yeah. yeah. it open. That's. Yeah. Oh, I, I knew the duct tape trip. Uh, the, the duct tape duct trick. Duct tape trip. Pardon? 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 Say that no, again. so you, uh, the duct tape trip. I can't say, that's a hard thing yeah. to say. Duct so tape you, trick. Yes. Okay. So you put uh, a whole bunch of like duct tape on a window okay. and you just hit it with a hammer and then it just like falls out. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. But that's a lot of. Yeah, but then it's easier to clean up too and it doesn't like shatter. Have you ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video of a guy. Just, just pre cut it. <laughs> There's a fire, a fire video. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> a firefighter video, and I, I still cannot to this day tell if it's real or not. You talking about the junkyard one? Yeah, and he's in the junkyard, and the guy goes, he takes his finger, his middle finger, he starts at the corner of the window, and he starts tapping like really hard all the way up to the center of the window. Yeah, and then he goes back down again, and the window spider webs, and it just yeah. breaks out. But I it's, can't it's, tell if it's, it's fake or not because like it gets harder because he starts from yeah. the center, and it's it's like it's it's all the way up, so it's a closed yeah. window. He starts from the center and he works his way down. And as he gets closer <laughs> to the Stop. end, he literally is like fucking like yeah, going crazy like, on the it's corner. The, I don't know if it's the vibration. It might be. Of the might be. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's probably exactly what it is. <laughs> just keeps tapping on the window. <laughs> <laughs> you just see the five go, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is happening? What's, what, what happened to us, man? <laughs> the, the audio for we? this episode is going to be so bad. <laughs> if you're not watching this on YouTube, you're wrong. Uh, remember how we told people we are NSFW? <laughs> Definitely no, not we NSFW. Lied. We lied. <laughs> oh, we sorry. just wanted to get you to subscribe. Show oh your my bosses. God, I can say something that I haven't said in a while. Hmm. Sorry, Jake's mom. <clears throat> sorry. Oh, yeah. So sorry, yeah. Jake's yeah. mom. So sorry. What we were actually <laughs> doing was mimicking how you break a window. Uh, mm-hmm. <coughs> that was pretty funny. Well, oh, wait, we were? Oh. <laughs> Is that what we were doing? Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. I can't believe we, <laughs> we took that too far. But like every other part of this show, we always take it too far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I actually, I need, to, I need whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. This uh, is, wow. I don't even know yeah. what I'm going to call this episode. Just complete nonsense. This is, I mean, I've already, <laughs> I've already called an episode, Let the Shit Show Continue. Mm-hmm. So, and that's basically what this one is. So, Jesus. The, sh- the shit show The, the shit third. show. The shit show Yeah. Shoshone. The shit show three. The, sh- the Shoshone. The Shoshone. Okay, so kind of sounds like Shining. Do you guys, did you guys <laughs> kind of a good segue. Kind of yeah. sounds like Shining. <laughs> sounds like Shining. Did you, did you get, were, were you guys excited about the uh, doctors, Dr. Sleep? Dr. Sleep? I want to see it. Yeah, I think see, I'm not entirely sure. It. I'm not entirely sure what I thought it, about they, it. It looks kind of PG almost, but I heard, I heard good yeah. things about it. I heard so. it's dark actually. Really? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well, like the, the, the trailers kind of look, look kind of. I don't know. I mean, The Shining Can't got dark almost. too, and you probably didn't think. Yeah, that but it was, it was more a psychological scene. thriller than it was like. I a think that this. Horror. Well, this well I mean, the Doctor Sleep thing—that's that's kind of the progression of that whole Stephen King universe. Is that like you know? Yeah. People, yeah. I don't know. It's it's because it involves story. different yeah. different players. It's not just like a poltergeist kind of. Right. Thing. Right. It's just uh, it's a really interesting book. If you guys haven't read Doctor Sleep, go read that. I haven't so. read it. Yeah, no, I just I watched The Shining. Uh, I, I, I knew of it. Like uh, I knew that there was yeah. a follow up after yeah. um, The Shining. It's, it is really interesting. So like it, it explores a lot more of like the emotional aspects of having of like the weird, right, right, like childhood like trauma. Well, because in the first like movie, that. they don't even touch on the fact that The Shining is 
a thing. They, they, it's they don't touch on the fact that it's a thing that yeah. people have. Certain people well, have like The Shining. They have well, that. Well, uh, mm-hmm. in in it, it, it actually shows that the kids from it yeah. all have The Shine. Yeah. So um, because it, it it actually manifests in in kids with like childhood trauma, basically. Like you'll you'll notice uh, okay. Callahan from the first Shining, like the old mm-hmm. the old black guy that was in there. Uh, he talked about how his grandpa used to like beat the shit out of him and stuff oh, like that. So yeah. But him and his him and his grandma used to be able to talk through their minds, and it, oh. and it's like oh, you look back and like all the all the Losers Club, they all had their, their issues, so they all had the shine. And then so do all of his Danny. They're all, all of his books are in all the same connected. universe. Then? Yeah, they're all okay. interconnected, which is really cool when you look back at it because it's like damn, everything is. Wait, didn't he create the, uh, the culmination is a Black Tower? Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't he dark create the Black Tower, the dark the dark tower, tower yeah. series? Or mm-hmm. dark, was it a series? Or it's was a it trilogy. Just one book? It's a trilogy. Yeah, okay. well, I think there's actually more than that now. Is there? I think so. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it, actually, the Dark Tower movie sucked. Don't ever watch the movie, but the yeah. uh, but the book is fantastic because it actually explores how some of those like. What's it called? Does it pull all, a lot of them together? Is that what the Dark Tower does? Or it, a little bit, yeah. It kind of explores like how they how they yeah, are, how they like, go back and forth, like intermingled between other. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's really interesting. Interesting. Yeah, because that's 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 essentially. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what the tower is. Mm-hmm. Is it's like a it's a bunch of like it's, it's basically like gateway. gateways. Yeah. yeah. To these different ah, places, and he's like the guardian. Kind the of uh, vigilant. There's a lot of characters that cross over from one story or one storyline to another as well. Yeah. Like you'll have characters oh, yeah. from it that are in uh, Dark Tower or yeah. uh, uh, people right, from right. the other stuff like that. So it's it's really interesting to see. Huh. Yeah. I There's like a really, it. really cool little uh <clears throat> like a Marvel vs. Capcom scenario where yeah. like all these different dudes are like a you know, end game and stuff like that. I wish they would have yeah. done that more successfully for the movies. Oh really my god! Everything. Yeah, it was really, really disappointing. For I love the actors. I loved all the actors. like interconnecting all the Stephen King movies oh, into yeah, like a yeah. MCU type thing because that would have been awesome. Yeah, that would be shit. They immediately fucked it up when they started Dark Tower. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. The yeah. well, yeah. Actually, even in the Dark Tower movie, there's a Pennywise the Clown uh, circus carriage mm-hmm. over there. So yeah, yeah. So they have to make nuances because I do. mean that's yeah. But it's like so if there's a movie they should remake. Properly, it's Dark Tower. Dark Tower. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would agree with a different writer. Yeah, don't make Matthew McConaughey your bad guy. He's no. like the laziest bad guy ever. Oh, hey, yeah. I'm gonna destroy the world, bro. Uh, oh, right. Right. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey, the McConaughey versus Idris Elba. Yeah. yeah. That's not and, even a and fight. Idris Elba's a cowboy. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got like, a he's gun. A sharp <laughs> cowboy. Yeah, it's it's a weird Idris that Elba's one that one slow mo scene though, where he's loading the revolver. That was like, kind of cool. Was bad. I ass. did like that. And like they, they portrayed he portrayed his role. Correctly. Yeah, he was amazing. Everything like, else about that movie was awful. Yeah, the cast <laughs> the cast was phenomenal. I'll even give it to McConaughey. Like mm-hmm. he did a good job as like a villain. Yeah, but we all know McConaughey. Yeah, like he's right, not. Right, he right. shouldn't have been a villain. Yeah, like. They should have got Mads Mikkelsen for that. Oh my god, dude! That oh, been they need to remake it now. Yep. Yeah. Idris Elba versus Mads Mikkelsen, dude. I doubt that Idris Elba is going to want to go back. Mm, to that fuck role. no! Yeah, yeah, with how no. bad it bombed, no, yeah. you're not going to step back into that role. All right, fine. No. Don't put him in it. Put uh, no. We want him in it. He's really good. <laughs> you, know what? you know what? I just <laughs> saw? just not going to no, do he, it. <laughs> he needs to go do Bond finally. Yeah, oh my but god, they, no, please! They already. Sw- we just talked about this. Yeah, I know. Well, the, the new Bond movies coming out. I actually watched the new trailer, and it shows that she's a different double O agent. No, so. she's supposed to. It, they said on the website that she's supposed to transition into the 007 role. Oh, this is probably well, just okay, meaning so that he's going to retire. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. retiring. Yeah, and she's right. supposed just to a, take the position. Yeah. So, but it's some like I don't know who she is. I'd have to. I'd she have to look like it up because I heard that it was. She's a been in stuff. Like, she was I the best she, friend in Captain Marvel, uh, Maria, Maria Rambeau or something like I that. I just really hope they don't turn it into like a bombshell like like uh blondie bombshell oh, or whatever yeah. the fuck that was oh I mean, that was, blonde yeah that, like that was a really cool movie and like it was but here's the thing like but, but everyone she, wants it to be idris elba literally everyone yeah everyone give us what we want <laughs> why is it well, why have they not cast him into that role it's yeah. so ridiculous why they i think that him. daniel craig had a contract that lasted a certain amount of movies four movies yeah. i'm pretty sure and this will be or it'll be this will be his fifth i believe because uh-huh. yeah. he had so he has to cameo in as like yeah the, so he's doing his transition in this movie because inspector okay. they didn't Obviously, he was still 007. Well, I mean, he's, character, he so. was so fucking beat up by the time Spectre rolled around, oh, like yeah, his he, character. Yeah, when you when he was talking like post interviews about yeah. making Spectre, like yeah. he would like he was just like I can't physically, physically yeah. do it anymore. Like yeah. it was just beating the shit out of his yeah. body. Well, he also hated the role of James Bond because he's like, yeah, he's just a huge misogynist and all yeah. this other stuff. Like he he personally and physically hated that role. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, but he did such a damn good job. He's a, he's oh a great those, those actor. Those fucking, the, what is it, like the mock parkour chase scenes that he was yeah, doing? Casino Royale. Like, And I loved how as those movies progressed, like those chase scenes mm-hmm. where he's on foot, you know, like running and like doing yeah. crazy oh, yeah. stuff, got sloppier and sloppier. Like they kept a good like, well, and linear I think it was, yeah, it was cool that it. it was like, even in Spectre, which was his last film, full film, mm-hmm. yeah. you didn't, you couldn't tell that he was like disinterested at all. 
No. You know what I mean? Like, no. He just continued to play that proper role. Yeah. I, don't know. I like Daniel Craig, obviously. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I really want to see that movie uh, Knives Out with like yeah. Oh, with the family? Yeah, that looks, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks fucking so awesome. Because he's looks like a awesome. detective in that, and yeah. that looks really interesting. And they yeah. have like uh, all star cast in that movie. Mm. Ray Fiennes is in that movie. Chris Evans looks hilarious in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've never Dude. seen him in like a comedy role before, oh. but he should get into comedy. Oh, yeah. no, I guess I have. He was in uh, Not Another Teen Movie. Oh, really? Oh, was, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Remember because he had like the whipped cream nipples? Yeah. 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 No, he, he fine. He just. He just <laughs> She's got a gun, get her! <laughs> no, he, that's, that movie looks so good. That cast yeah. just looks perfect, yeah. basically. Mm-hmm. I guess I always kind of forget about old movies that Chris Evans was part of, like the old Fantastic Four yeah. movies. Oh, I try God, to forget about yeah. those. Yeah. He was in Snowpiercer, which was really good. That was that? amazing. I loved Snowpiercer. It's just. It's, it was all right. It's post apocalyptic Willy Wonka. Yeah. Literally. It and it, yeah. they did. The most seamless trade. So, what a lot of people don't know about Snowpiercer, that's not an American film. Mm-hmm. No, that transitioned from a Japanese film. Like, I don't even know if they ever made a Japanese version. Like, but it was it was really meant popular for in- the Japanese like cinema, mm-hmm. and they transitioned it into. And whoever whoever fucking saw that script and went, we need that. Mm-hmm. And like the big you know production company said, we need that. Fucking kudos to that person because that movie. I think it's super underrated. I thought it was such a phenomenal yeah. film. Like interesting just, story. Um, the visuals kind of were hate or miss for, for me for for the most part. I feel yeah. like some of them were, were like too obviously fake at that point. But like, right, right. I, I think overall oh, it was man. really interesting. Yeah, I think they. Movie. I think they did a great job. With yeah. That. No, I, I still just the whole story. I still really enjoy the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I just. It was weird. There's was something off putting about it almost that like I think that oh, you're supposed I, to be feeling. Yeah, you're supposed put. to be yeah, uncomfortable that yeah. whole film, I think. Um I also loved Chris Evans' role in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Oh yeah. Where he's Is he like, the vegan? No, he, he's the he's like the bro actor guy with like mm-hmm. the skateboard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Just Damn goofy, it. goofy. Good old Scott shit, Pilgrim. Man. What a good movie. I fucking well, I, I will say this once again, but I love Edgar Wright movies. Oh, uh, fuck so yeah. like Hot Fuzz, Scott, yeah. Shaun of the Dead, Scott Pilgrim, all that kind of stuff. Because mm-hmm. if you rewatch those movies, every line of those movies is a joke. Yeah. Every single one. Every of them. single. And it'll make line. a callback later on in the movie, and everything gets resolved. And yep. it's always perfect. <clears throat> Uh, the only one that I can't say that they was that funny was Baby Driver, but I did really enjoy. See, I Baby loved Driver. Baby Driver. I, didn't watch I loved. That one. I yeah. loved Baby Fantastic Driver. Fantastic movie. Still, it's just it didn't have that same Edgar Wright feel to me. Yeah. So yeah. No, for sure. For but, sure. Uh, trying to you, think. you know what else I really want to see? I just saw the the trailer for the first trailer for hmm. The Witcher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They still don't have a release date. They just keep saying coming soon. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. It. They're probably just gonna re- release it right before, like right around Christmas. I think break it's season. gonna be. I think it's gonna be January. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's. Gonna I don't be know because because it's usually yeah. A lot of TV rotation. shows try to get around like the week of Christmas because everybody's gonna be home. Yeah, and then then their viewership goes like way. Yeah, up. nobody's so, nobody's gonna be going on on Christmas. Yeah, their activity is yeah, gonna so. skyrocket over Christmas break. So. True that. True that. True that. Um, my mom. That one looks crazy good. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for that. You know, I really want to fucking see after I see another movie with him. I want to see Honey Boy. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. We talked about this before. That looks really interesting. At first, I have to see Peanut Butter Falcon. Peanut Butter Mm -hmm. Falcon, yep. Yeah, if you, uh, for those that you didn't, for those of you that didn't uh, read or listen to our last podcast or one of our last podcasts, uh, Shia LaBeouf is kind of killing it. LaBeouf. Shia, LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. He's kind of killing it with movies nowadays. He so he, uh, uh, Honey Boy is actually a movie about him growing up, oh, and uh, so he's good. playing his own father in that movie. It's yeah. so good. And it just looks incredible. We talked about this film, and we all had existential crises. Yeah, uh, minor crises. Yeah. About, uh, <laughs> yeah, our crises. Dads, so. yeah. Um, and Peanut Butter Falcon, <clears throat> like. If you listen to the interview with mm-hmm. Shia LaBeouf about mm-hmm. that, like Dude. he literally talks about how I can't remember the other actor's name mm-hmm. that he plays with, but he literally talked about how being with him day in and day out mm-hmm. like helped him through his alcohol problem. Yeah. Like it helped him like come to terms with it. And now he's just like I mean, he's just coming out with some fucking killers right See, now. See, I I low key think that Shia LaBeouf's an artistic genius. I think so oh too. Oh my god, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I even do. I think yeah. even in the point at the point where it was that um, break. Yeah, where he yeah. where they were talking about his break. Like obviously the whole getting arrested for public intoxication. Right. Yeah, but that happens fine. to everybody. That happens yeah. to people over here. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like in the middle yeah. of fucking nowhere, he was been arrested yet. Yeah. <laughs> <He> was <laughs> just, supposed to happen, right? <laughs> he was just yelling and can't spouting out shit. Like, I didn't say you specifically. He was, you know, he's a celebrity. There's worse things that he could have done. No, for sure. And for sure. But I think like the whole watch. My movies hashtag mm-hmm. watch my movies mm-hmm. like when you look at all of these different ones that he's doing he did the elevator one for yep. 24 hours and oh, everything yeah. like that when you watch all those it's literally him just like trying to break down the barrier of the screen mm-hmm. like he's well, trying to do the epitome of breaking the fourth wall but in real life like saying, well, I, hey, I, I think that 
he instead of like the screen and him, he, he's trying to break down the barrier between Hollywood actors and, yeah, and normal exactly. people because we we do deify a lot of these actors. Oh, fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? We, we we make them seem like they're not human, yeah. and so we we hold them up as gods. Almost. Why do you think that I want to be an actor so bad? <laughs> <laughs> Praise me, bitches! I don't want to be an actor. I want to be a god. I want to be a deity. Dude, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tell me, man. That's blasphemous. Yeah, we, can, blasphemous. we can work that out, man. You I be mean, my spokesman. I use my one punch. And then we'll just fucking what we'll ride it just out. Gonna, just you gonna hold the guy that I send up to talk to people, so I never have to get shot. <laughs> you trying to get misted, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! You could just be my bodyguard, and then I walk up onto the stage in a bright red cloak <laughs> with a hood, and I go, "Let me mask it out." You know why I wear the red cloak? Because it symbolizes power, but it also symbolizes this is the color that everyone's going to see if you fuck up. So you, whenever <laughs> you say red, you missed it. Whenever you say red cloak, all I think of is Akira. If you guys have ever seen that, Uh yeah, yeah. Dude. Uh, yeah. All I thought of was a little red riding hood. So clearly, uh, we're on different <laughs> wavelengths. Totally different wavelengths. <laughs> I mean, it's Akira, pretty much the same. <laughs> just Jesus, fucking it's the same shit. If you guys yeah, don't Tetsuo, know what Akira is, Tetsuo had god power. Yeah, Didn't we just talk about this two episodes ago because we were talking about Tetsuo's Doing? bike uh, by uh, oh, uh, highly suspect. suspect. Yeah. So, really? Okay, so here's a yeah, funny, those? funny thing. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't know if you were you there. I think we might have talked about us. this uh, somewhere else. One of our, I don't know. But, Wait, uh, that wasn't Tetsuo's bike. That was, uh, yeah, was. Tetsuo was the was the bad guy. Yeah, yeah Tetsuo was the bad Tetsuo's guy. Bike. It's a it's a because he's got the red cloak too. Suspect. Tetsuo when he like gets the power, he gets. Oh that yeah, cloak. that's right, that's right. Where he okay. takes like that piece of fabric. And yeah, rips it off. It, but, have, you, have you never seen Akira before? Nope. Oh man, watch you gotta it. we're gonna watch it. It's so, a good. It's a really good movie. For those of you guys that don't know, Akira was actually like the first step for um, Japanese cartoons to get into modern mm-hmm. culture like, with America. Yeah. So it was actually ben produced Gibby. by um, George Lucas. Yeah. Um, so oh, George Lucas created this this cartoon film with a whole bunch of uh, Japanese animators, and they brought it to the mainstream American market. It's fucking and it, and it killed it. It's like, badass. Dude. It's the really story's good. really good. You guys gonna go see Rise of Skywalker? Probably. Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah. I think I have to because I've seen every other one in, in, in theater. I have yeah. to go see this one. I'm, I'm getting trilogy. kind of fatigued from Star Wars. I, I do love um, The Mandalorian because that's a great side I, thing. I still have to start it. Oh, it's great. It's I, lo- I love it's it so good. far. It's, it, what's cool about Maybe it Yoda. is they take like – so they take the Star Wars universe, mm-hmm. but they almost make it into a Western. Yeah. It's, it's well, fucking it is, awesome. It is The Mandalorians. And yeah. they're, that's like they're, yeah. it's But it's like, a, yeah. it's like a cowboy's – it's like a cowboy's yeah. film. It's nice. fucking cool. It's almost like uh, what's that? What's that movie with um, what's his face? Hot the Iron. Guy, no, the guy that played uh, the big, the Big Lebowski. Oh, um, um, Jeff Bridges. Yep. Yeah. What, who, what was that oh, western he was in? Oh, uh, uh, crazy. Uh, no, it wasn't crazy. No, was he Kurt was Russell. in. Um, um, wasn't No Country for Old Men. No, no, no. Was, God damn it! What was the name of that movie that he was in? It was a good one too. Yeah. Jeff Bridges is fucking awesome. I he, he is a prime actor. God damn it. I, all right, so I can't, I think, I can't think of the movie, but it's like... <sighs> I'll look it up. I don't know. Looking it up, it's, I'm Jamie. I'm Jamie. Yeah, Jamie, check yeah. that out. On a side note, also Western in Crazy 8, a little bit of trivia here. Mm-hmm. Kurt Russell destroys a guitar in the scene. It's like super emotional scene. He destroys yeah. his guitar. That true that Grit. True Grit. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, it's like True Grit, but for Star Wars. <laughs> so, Yeah, definitely. That's uh, probably... Actually, that's a really, really tantalizing comparison because that yeah. makes me want to watch it more. Yeah. Um... But yeah, the guitar that he destroys, he thought was a prop. It wasn't a prop. It was a like an antique guitar that they brought on the set for that scene. Really? And the actress that was using it had been practicing with that guitar for a super long time, so it meant a lot to everybody on set. Yeah. He had no idea. And he just broke the shit out of it? Busted it, because that was a part of the scene. It's like he was supposed to pick up the guitar and smash it, because it's like super somber, like everybody's pissed off and like on edge. Oh, and Russell. this girl's playing the guitar to try and calm people down, and Kurt Russell just snaps and smashes the guitar. Jesus destroys that antique and I guess offset like after the shoot or whatever like you can still kind of see it in the movie because it was a really genuine reaction but you yeah. see him like tear up because he realizes what he just did and mm-hmm. like the woman's reaction is the, the exact same like it was a, the natural reaction to him destroying that guitar wait Damn. crazy that's not the name of the movie is it's it? a Quentin Tarantino movie yeah the yeah. one where they're in the crazy eight in the cabin well they're all over the place but, but then like, that's not the one uh because it's Kurt Russell it's um Sam Jackson was that or um, Are you sure that's Crazy Eight? I'm almost positive. Are you sure it's called that? Yeah, the Crazy Eight or Crazy. No, eight. it's it's something else. Because there's another movie that was very similar to it, but it was Seven. That um, was the that that's was the, the Adam Sandler, the Magnificent one. Seven. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. It's, and it was yeah, supposed yeah, to be a good. play. It was supposed to be a joke, a farce. Yeah, off of it. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the Crazy Eight. Is it Crazy Eight? Yeah, it's Crazy Eight. All right, I gotta look because there's another fun fact about that film. But yeah, the Crazy Eight. Yeah, it's Crazy Eight. Okay, yeah. so fu- another fun fact no, about that. No, wait, nope. 
Yes. It's not Crazy Eight, dude. I don't think that doesn't sound right to me. For the, I know which movie you're thinking of, but that doesn't sound right. It's uh, it's well, it's I, we're thinking of the same movie. That yeah, yeah, we are thinking of the same movie. Just I, I thought it was called Crazy Eight, but that's what mm. I thought too. I, I don't. Think. Also, um, Kurt Russell used to love Kurt Russell, but I feel like the last couple of movies he's been in, he kind of phoned it in. But I don't know. That's just my personal. Um. All right. Sorry. Now we're the hateful eight. The hateful eight. I was like, the okay. guys, that movie's not right. Don't you mean the grateful eight? The, so the hateful eight. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. was not filmed in multiple locations. And it, the only reason I know that is because fun fact about that film: there's two locations that that whole entire film basically took place in. One is the carriage when they get to the place, mm-hmm. and two is in that sh- in that house. And it's one of the only films where the film is primarily filmed in one location. In no one shit. Spot. Yep. It's one of the only ones out there where it's primarily where? filmed in one specific location. I need to watch that movie They do again. flashbacks, I think, maybe once or twice, but you, it, primarily the film is, is well, in that Well, Quentin location. Tarantino did that with Reservoir Dogs, too. Uh, Reservoir Dogs, he took them out to the desert, though, too. Remember? Res- Reservoir Dogs. Remember? The, oh, yeah. In the end. Yeah. And that was a big portion of that movie, too. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was kind of cool. And he filmed that in 80 millimeter film, mm-hmm. I think. Mm. So, so to add to the, the old grittiness. Mm-hmm. Grittiness, yeah. yeah. I think it was 80, 80 film. I think no it's what it's called. But yeah, so it was just kind of, I just love Quentin Tarantino for like some of the crazy shit. Just, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Just because like, he, he gives zero fuck about your opinion. He just does what yeah. he feels is right. Well, and I, I, know, I definitely And he knows that, that he has a time, like, He's got a timeline of how many movies he's going to do. He's stuck with that. And he's like, once I hit my final movie, I'm done. I'm yep. not doing any more. And mm-hmm. I was like, that's fucking crazy. So you know he's trying to make them all, all good because oh, he's yeah. got to make them yeah. count. It's not like somebody's going to come around and give him this huge deal where he goes, okay, cool, I'll make more. No, no. he's sticking he, he's, to the point of like, yeah. I'm making the movies that I want to make. And after that's done, I'm done. I'm not doing another one. I think, mm-hmm. what did he say he wanted to do? 12? I don't remember how many movies he said in the beginning of his career that he wanted to do. But there's not... He's only doing a certain amount of them. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah. oh, that's kind of cool. Or a certain amount of years or something. I don't right, remember what right. it was, but it's like. Because uh, I actually, I saw I saw an interview or what was attempted to be an interview between him. It was like uh, he was supposed to be publicizing one of his movies. And the interviewer started asking him about like violence in movies and like how it <laughs> yes, depicts. And he fucking shuts him down. He's like, you are not my master. Like, I don't have to answer yeah. your questions. He's fucking all been this guy's shit. And it's like that. That's I feel amazing. like he's got it. He's, he's a little crazy. I mean, you can oh, yeah. oh, for sure. You, for sure. Have to but be that's you look yeah. at the man and you're like, there's some crazy behind that. Eyes. That's fine, man. You know I mean? I'm cool. I'm cool. They makes great movies. Yeah. Kill Bill. You know, all those dude makes good ones. God, we always get on to f- movies. Always. I know. We might as well just be it... what we watch this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get back on that, too, because we haven't watched anything. I know. Maybe that'll be the time. beginning of the year. We'll get yeah, back, we'll into, get back into, into the that grind for all those and everything. Oh, also, yeah. working on a new logo hey, that, encompasses, that encompasses every... Because now, obviously, as you all know, we've expanded quite drastically mm-hmm. and rapidly over the first eight, nine months of mm-hmm. this. Um, so we have multiple other... Portions. Productions that yeah. have started, including like YouTube channel stuff, uh, what we watched this week, what we w- learned this week, what we did this week, and what we played this played week. This week. Um, so we're trying to encompass all of those into one name mm-hmm. and one logo. Yeah. So we're working on some stuff. We posted it on our Facebook page, just a, a blank one that we're kind of working with right now. And we'll probably re- rework that a little bit, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know Just yet, play but, around with that. Yep. Mm-hmm. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. For show, new marketing, for new advertising way, <laughs> wise. So, and we'll probably, I'm sure, we'll have it on March. So we'll put it onto T-shirts and everything like that too. All of our new, yeah, our new logos and stuff. So oh, yeah, we're we'll turning why ourselves we into a studio production company, basically, rather than just a podcast. podcast. So it's pretty fucking yeah. cool. <laughs> we got a bunch <laughs> of fun stuff coming up too. Yeah, it'll be a good time next year, January. Mm. It's gonna be a busy oh, month yeah, for yeah, us. Holy mm. shit. Uh, also, looking forward to uh, it. what we won this week has some really cool interviews that he's done recently. Oh, yeah, you need to go check this out. It's amazing. Yeah. Go listen. It's, to, it's yeah. Go listen to him. It's fucking tight. I'm a little upset because the one, the most recent one got cut short, which kind of sucks, but it was understandable. And we still uh, just a huge shout out to Colt Brennan for Dude. Uh, it, for allowing us to interview him and giving us some of, or giving Duke some of his time and everything. Um, for those of you that don't know, Colt Brennan was a college quarterback for the University of Hawaii and arguably one of the best to ever play college ball. I mean, he just the numbers that he put up were just out fucking standing. Um, he did get drafted to the Redskins. I don't I think he only played a couple years, maybe one or two years with the Redskins mm-hmm. 
and just didn't pan out, but his college career is just unfucking believable. And so the podcast that Duke has, um, Definitely plays into his college career and his life, uh, you know, yeah, in he's college got tons, and everything tons like that. Of tons information of information. So it's kind of a little backstory. So anyone that's into sports or just into interesting people's lives of, oh, how did you get into this? You know, mm-hmm. these NFL stars and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. You'll like it. So definitely go listen to that. I think that one will be out mm, this week. I hmm. think so. Yeah, yeah. Good shit. All right. Good shit, good shit. Yeah. And then the rest of us. just, you know, we're doing this. Mm. <laughs> what we won this week or yeah. what we what we played this week. Have you done anything recently? No, I for haven't. That? I haven't. I've been I've been lacking pretty hard on that. Yeah. Didn't you just replay The Witcher? I'm working on it. Didn't think, hey, this could be content. No. All right, cool. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll bring over uh, the revamped version of Crash Team Racing. We'll play that. Oh just, shit! I'm just glad fun. that we're still in in rookie mode over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. I get it. I'm it working happens. On. I mean, what we watch this week hasn't flourished yet either so no, well, but we have well, the, there's a lot more have, copyright issues yeah, with that though, and we have <laughs> we have the the groundwork laid out yeah. so it, it, next year those will be coming. steady progression if we yeah. want to watch anything from asylum studios we could still do that yeah so and, and we have which other, is a huge yeah, roster we of can always do movies. Movies. Yeah, a huge, <laughs> huge fucking roster. we can always do movie reviews we can do stuff like that because yeah. we can technically use little excerpts of films without yeah we can use trouble, a few seconds so, of, yeah. of everything so it, they'll be, they're coming, okay, guys. Jesus, <laughs> we only have so much time Calm in the down. week and in the day to do this shit. Okay, the groundwork's laid out. You'll get your cookie soon. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> God, fuck why do I still do here? this? <laughs> oh, oh my God. I don't know. Well, what do you think? I know this one's a little bit shorter, but mm, that's okay. I think. I think it's a good, good place. It should be alright. Yeah. yeah. I'm out of ideas. You out of ideas? Hmm? Yeah. You out of ideas? I'm out of ideas. Cool. Mm. We're gonna end this one early, folks. Yeah, yeah it's only less, like less than an minutes. hour. I'll take it. Yeah. This Plus, we're still gonna do our, our uh, YouTube, YouTube live, live as well. Yep. So, gotta yeah. save a every, little bit. Every of Monday, mind just so everyone that. knows, every Monday we do a YouTube live. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should probably start posting about that ahead of time so that way people we, can. Well, we've been trying on yeah. Facebook usually. Oh, we try I did post like an Facebook, hour early. So we just didn't this week because we're lazy. Um, yeah, and we're gonna try and create a whole like an actual schedule of timings for this stuff too, mm-hmm. so that we can be a little bit more accurate of when mm-hmm. we're gonna go live, so that you guys will know. Um, yeah. I, I, usually it's around 12, 1230 is when we go live on okay. YouTube. So Perfect. cool. Awesome. Thank you guys very much for joining us for another week Have of what we learned this week. Make sure to like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us yeah. on Facebook, go to our Patreon, patreon.com Tell backslash WWLTW podcast. Tell us how stupid we are in the comments. Yeah, tell yeah. us how <laughs> fucking retarded we are. Um, and then, yeah, our merch. Go to our channel. Oh, and you can also read some of our backstories on the cha- on our uh, website as well, oh, yeah. which is uh, www.dtw.com. Yeah. Oh, right. no, all the red on my ledger. Or is it what? No, it's actually, <laughs> actually, I'm sorry. I take that back. It's what we did this week. What we did this week. Yeah, because that way it w- encompasses w- every yeah. channel. It's so. what we did this yeah. week. I got to do a little editing on the yeah. website no, as it's well. Fine. So we'll but we're still working shit. on it, but we have like a couple of about us things on there yeah, and everything. Nice. There's merch on there. Uh, all of our podcasts, all of our Instagrams are all linked on there as well. So make sure to check that out. Go well. get yourself a Good sweater for Christmas. Get yourself a sweater. Sweater. Sweater weather. Keep yourself cozy. Keep yourself warm. Let us keep you warm at night. Because it keeps your feet warm in the winter. Make your husband jealous. Put us on your chest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> what the fuck are we? <laughs>